Can you tell me your name and your age? <laughs> I'm Alexia. My name is Jarrell Queenie. My name is Adia Dragusha and I'm 14 years old. I'm 15. And I'm 13 years old. My name is Agnesa and I'm 16 years old. <laughs> Kit is a charitable trust that uh, supports our students here and it often serves to help those students who have kind of the greatest difficulties to access wider experiences in their school lives. Kit is supporting uh, sporting programs, and, uh, music, drama, um, performing creative arts, academic programs like uh, debating, uh, and also life skills or, or mentoring uh, programs for our most vulnerable students. When I'm dancing, I feel like I can just let, I can just be myself, and it's like also getting my energy out because I'm a bit of a fidget. So I've started athletics for quite a long time. I started competing when I was about eight. Last September, I had a major competition coming up, which was English schools. So what they did was they obviously supported me. So they gave me from equipment all the way down to gear, all the way down to um, my diet. I'm going to be doing GCSEs next year and it can be very stressful at times. So when I play piano, it's like a calming activity that I can look forward to as well and not just be stressed about it. Kit supports all students uh, within KAA, but particularly those ones from uh, more deprived backgrounds. So 66% of all of our students qualify for the pupil premium, which is the government's uh, deprivation index of, of poverty. Let's just think about that for a second. So if you're a pupil premium student, that means your net family income is, or has recently been, no higher than £7,500 per year. That is going to limit your opportunities and put a whole load of pressure on you in more ways than we can imagine. It is fantastic because it helps every single student at this school. In our work in DOV, it isn't just those students who are least advantaged who have been able to benefit because of this. It's been every single student. Really, we couldn't run Duke of Edinburgh um, in the affordable way that we managed to for our students here if it wasn't for Kit. I mean, for me, it was personally Wales. I went to Wales and you can go and you can hike. That was amazing. I got a scholarship whilst I was there. It was like the first time I ever went out, like away from London. <laughs> this is not about typical school fundraising. This is not about can we have a bit more money for textbooks. This is about can we develop a strategy to create a full and rich curriculum for these students which gives them a transformative education. Many people wanted to pursue a dream but they weren't able to get there due to their upbringing or their environment. So I feel like if we're able to support children from now and give them the right stuff that they need now, it'll give them that kind of boost so now they feel supported by people. So it'll now give them that motivation to go and do extra. Grenfell has brought a lot of attention on the school and we're very proud of how the school's coped and continues to cope. But, you know, we're here for the long haul, right? And that attention will move on and the world will focus on another school. Um, but what we want to say is, in a lasting way, we're going to provide this community with an exceptional school that would rival anything you would get. So you don't have to go to private school because right here at the end of your road in Notting Hill is, 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 is something that's world class.